Hey everyone, today I am actually testing out some new camera equipment and things, so if this looks a little bit different, that is why. We are starting off the new year of 2022. We are going to be doing a goals video. Now, I did a goals video last year and I set some goals, pretty high goals, I think, because I obviously didn't complete them 100% or stick to them all year round. At least setting goals in the beginning of the year kind of helps me start getting motivated. It doesn't always keep me motivated. So let's try this again. Some that I had set last year that didn't quite go so well that I want to try again this year and some new ones that I want to kind of put out there and try and work towards as well. My first goal, number one, <laughs> that I actually did last year is to exercise, eat healthy, and maybe lose some weight. <laughs> um, I didn't quite do that well at maintaining that goal last year. I did have a couple spurts where I was exercising and I was trying to eat healthy and I did see a little bit of a difference, but I didn't continue to do it. So, you know, the difference didn't stick. So this year I'm hoping to try again and hopefully continue to do it or at least do it and then pick it up again throughout the year and things like that. I am hoping that I can do something that will make it a little more of a lifestyle change for me. I know that last year I tried exercising and I didn't enjoy it. It was not fun for me. I was grumpy afterwards. And so I need to find a way to not have that kind of mentality or to not feel that way. And eating healthy, it is a little more pricey, I've realized, and it takes a lot of planning ahead of time. Um, it's not something that you can just do once you get hungry, you just need something right away. I don't know, just for me personally, that didn't really work out. So I need to be better about it, like making smoothies, and kind of just planning out what I'm gonna have for lunches and dinners, making sure I have more healthy ingredients and stuff on hand, and trying to shop for healthier items and choices. If I can be a little more diligent about it, maybe a couple of days out of the week or a couple meals, um, maybe like one meal a day is healthy, you know, a little bit at a time to hopefully at least get to a point where I can be a little more healthy than I am now, both with exercise and my eating habits. And hopefully that results in losing some weight because that's, that's the end goal here. My next one is also a repeat from last year and that is to cook more and really just kind of learn how to cook more. I did do a couple of cooking videos last year to kind of help me towards that goal and what I found is that I was like maybe trying to cook a meal once a month but then it stopped and it didn't continue and I think I need to try again and be hopefully a little better about that. Not something that I think is fun either. <laughs> I think my goals this year um, are things that I want to do but I don't find fun so I need to find a way to make them fun for me. Um, so yeah, I need to learn how to cook, I need to cook more, I need to maybe cook some healthier meals and uh, find a way to make that enjoyable for me. My third goal is to make more time for my hobbies and things that I like to do for myself. I had like quite a list last year of that kind of fit into this category and this year I kind of want to narrow down that category a little bit more um, and just focus on my YouTube channel and doing YouTube videos. I feel like last year I did really well at staying consistent and on top of things for the first half of the year. The second half of the year it totally fell apart. I wasn't consistent. I had a lot of things going on in my life that just kind of got in the way. It just didn't work out. It didn't fit with my new schedule. It didn't fit with what was going on and it made it a little bit difficult but yeah I still wanted to do it I still thought that it was fun I just couldn't find the time or energy to put towards it and so that was unfortunate and I'm hoping that I can do better again this year with that because this is something that like I actually think is fun and I like to do it I don't like it to get stressful though and I feel like at the end of the year last year or like halfway through last year it became stressful just because all everything else going on 
and I don't want that to happen and if it does then it does and that's I don't want to stress on that because again this is something that's not supposed to be stressful for me it's just supposed to be an outlet it's supposed to be something that I enjoy doing and I would like to do more sewing. I said that last year too and I don't think I sewed much at all and I want to do that. That is something that I enjoy doing and I have all these ideas that I want to do. Again it takes time to set aside from day-to-day -day life, from things and, and I have a very hard time with setting aside time for me to do things that I enjoy doing and kind of do those things and feel motivated to do those things. So I'm hoping this year I can be better about that and one of those is sewing, do some more sewing projects, maybe making some things. That would be really nice. And then the second part of this is really to have more time for me and like self-care and just kind of do things that make me happy um, and spend time with people who make me happy and just kind of not take things so seriously and try not to get stressed out while I'm doing things that make me happy or being with people that make me happy and being stressed out of things that I'm like dreading that are coming up or something like that or, or dwelling on something that didn't go right that I can't fix because it already happened. The fourth one is to spend more time with friends and family and this one I do again I find hard because it's time it's setting aside time to go see people and to do things with people and I, I miss my friends I don't see my friends that often and um, you know I'm really bad at staying in touch and communicating and texting calling things like that um, but if I can see my friends more, if I can see my family more, that's a big deal to me and I need to make more time for it. There's a lot of things I gotta make time for and there's not enough time in the day, not enough time in the week. So we'll see how that goes, but that's what I'm hoping for. Last one is to grow in my job, my job that I work at, that's my nine to five, five days a week job. I want to grow, I want to learn more things, it'd be nice to promotion um, and just kind of do well, do better in it and like I said just learn more and have get more skills and things like that. That would be something that I really want to work towards and hope to accomplish at some point this year. Alright so that is basically my goals for this year. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do okay <laughs> on some of them. Let me know down below if you are setting any goals for this year or if you're not setting any goals. If you are, what goals are you setting? Are you setting a small amount? Are you setting a lot of goals? How'd you do last year if you set goals? Let me know down below. I'm interested to hear. Well, that's it for today. I will see you all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye.